do a quick video of the art. We did have one piece go home already there. This is the art at Glory Baptist Church. This is some of our student art. Reese and Allie and Isaac and Kane and Richard and this beautiful quilt is by Jessica Perrine. And Fickert with her crosses, very nice. And uh, I'm not sure whose quilt, but a gorgeous quilt. The Swansons who live down the road here from our church. That was a, a combo by Dan and Hannah. And Jessica Perrine made this beautiful quilt. She's made a number of just stunning quilts. Um, we have one that we're hanging up that she donated to the church in honor of her son and his time in our youth group. He's in the Marines now, and that's a fantastically beautiful quilt as well. She does wonderful, wonderful quilting. And then we have some children's art, some of the younger children hung up here. This is our children's area and our library, so a good place for it. Um, that they get to see their own art on display. So that is pretty cool. We're now out in the lobby and handmade sleigh and various boxes here. A number of these are Pat Humphreys and then some work by Dave Jensen. Um, the box, this, this one and this one and this one are Lyle Hills woodworking and they are spectacular. Each one of those is little pieces of individual wood that he dyes and hand lays and puts a lot of time into. Uh, Kevin Peets, our youth pastor. The glare is a bit difficult to overcome here, but you can see there's a couple in there and another one hand drawn there. This is all in our church lobby here. <coughs> Um, Lori Ruseth grew up next door to the church here. This did the cross stitching. I'm not sure who the quilts are. Cute little book someone made for a, a grandchild, I think. And various other items that have been sewn. Um, Lois Souls did the strawberries for sure, and I think also those Christmas stockings, but I'm not positive. And then we come over to these quilts here, and this is our Glory Quilters who quilt on Tuesday mornings, a group of ladies from our church, and actually from a, a couple of other churches as well. You can see that. And then this one, this Minnesota one, is phenomenal. Um, Lisa Nix did this one, and, and I really like this one. It is just super cool, very creative there, Lisa. And uh, all the different fish and whatnot. Her husband, Richard, is a is an avid, avid fisherman. And then if you come over here, a uh, piece on, I'm not sure if that's a cedar or what it is, but it's a beautiful chunk of wood. And then a, a snowman themed Christmassy one, and then You've got this to go with that. Making a video here. Pardon? Just making a video here of all the art. Jan Hasilius did this piece. That's her son, oh, oh, yes. Dan. I've actually seen and him can blow that fire. See this here? He, he blows fire for a living. He makes a career out of that, going to Renaissance festivals and on cruise ships and other places. And yet some more beautiful quilts. Lisa Nix made this for her granddaughter. She's got a cute little 
little tail. This was in our upper room. Some poppies and various paintings. Um, this one is from Sandy, and a couple of them I know are from Sandy. Westvig, I guess. That one says E.D. Johnson, and I think that one's Talitha. Sierra Lane and Talitha, a couple of our students, a couple sisters. And then all of the tulips that you'll see here was an art project. Um, Jen Hasilius did a painting night. And so when she did the painting night, the signups were so fast and so furious. So we got a couple that are popping off here. But the signups were so fast and furious the first week that she ended up adding a second uh, full night of painters. And so um, Jan's sister Mary passed away oh, a good six weeks ago, eight weeks ago. She was an avid watercolor artist. And so Jan got a lot of her supplies and was able to bless others with them by teaching them uh, how to do these tulips and then um, doing those two nights completely for free. Didn't even ask that they pay for any of the materials and just blessed the ladies with that. Good morning, Kenny. Larry Nutting made this here and Raleigh flowers that up there. I'm gonna see a whole bunch of different pieces here on tables in our upper room. This is a cute one. Those are fingerprints from the Pearsons. So that's pretty cool. Dakota Perry. And that's Micah. This one, you can see the depth on it with the media there. I think that's a, this has a Lane Mosher on it. Another cross stitching by Lori and her dad Raleigh made the frame. This would be my son. These plates and cups are incredibly detailed, hand painted. And this uh, coat rack was made by Larry Nutting. This photography here is by River. Um, River is Gloria's grandson. And you can see uh, some of the artists had signed here. I don't know that everybody has, but some of them did. And River got grand champion for this one. That's pretty cool at the Crow Wing County Fair over in uh, Brainerd. The sun catchers are by Trish Baker. Those are you probably can't see in my video, but very, very sparkly crystals. Artist Flowers did this painting here. These uh, walking sticks are put together by Gary Bradford. We have a lamp here by Larry Nutting, hand carved and made. And we got uh, a really cool little display here is by Gary Bradford of some of these tip-ups that he's made. Um, the lures are by Les Mosher. This, uh, this really cool piece is by John and Connie Pearson. 
John and Connie collaborated on that. They do a bunch of signs. I think they've done signs for most of their family members. So uh, they take old wood and stencil or hand paint or whatever it is they're doing. These, these pieces. You can hear the coffee brewing over there. Naomi Lane did this one. I'm not sure who did that one, but some nice birch. This is the door into our sound booth. You've got Melissa and Alyssa, a couple of sisters in our church. And on display in the sanctuary, we have a couple of pieces. There's going to be glare on these, unfortunately, and I can't probably find an angle where that won't be the case. But uh, a beautiful, large painting. And I do believe this is the original church building, um, the original Glory Baptist Church that was just up the road from here. Dave Jensen made these, and you can see, I'll be gentle, they sit on these little metal rods, and each one, and I'm not going to articulate them a whole lot, but each one is free-floating there. And he's taken these knurled portions of wood and then combined other pieces of wood and put these together. And those, these tails are, are very detailed and very curved. And this is actually wood here. Gail Gilbertson made this, and I have no idea how somebody makes something like that. It's, it's a shawl, and it's really cool. I think this is for the wind. It catches the wind. That's a Dave Jensen piece. And then another set of dolphins um, here by Dave Jensen. And again, these are free-floating on the little wire metal rods. I'm able all of them to articulate and move. Very cool. I do believe this is a Jan Hasilius piece. You kind of got to get to the side to be able to see the texture of it. Uh, all kinds of stuff has gone into this piece. A really beautiful piece that we have here up on our stage at Glory Baptist Church. Tanya Peets puts this together for Easter each year and um, each Sunday this changes. So next Sunday the crown of thorns will disappear for Easter. Today is Palm Sunday. <clears throat> and then the last ones we have, I think this one is also, we yeah, got is a Jan Hacilius piece. And again, if I get to the side, you can see the, the depth of the materials that are on this. And that's a, a very neat, neat piece. And then we have our our large worship the king. The idea for this came from Tanya Peets. Uh, this is a permanent piece, or semi-permanent piece in our sanctuary anyhow. And Tanya Peets came up with the idea. Wendy Johnson donated the wood. It's old barn wood that's been repurposed. And then uh, Chris and Melinda Nelson cut out the wording for us. So, very cool. That's the Glory Baptist um, art exhibit here in 2018. Thanks for watching.